Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is doing great. Honestly, the Lord has been faithful to us from January to December. We cannot but give him all the glory. Glory be to your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you for your support always. And if you're new here, you are highly welcome. Please endeavor to subscribe to this channel to support what we are doing by clicking on the red icon that says subscribe and also turn on the bell for more notifications. Thank you so much. In today's video, I want to share with you concerning a video that a pastor that was sacked by Winners Chapel made, asking people to share this video, make this video, so that we get to Bishop David Oyedepo. Now, my problem here is not because they are laying off some workers. That is not my problem because, of course, when you have been working with someone and or some people and you decide that you can no longer continue working with them, yeah, the next thing to do is to terminate the appointment. My challenge here is the way and manner the termination of the appointment is being carried out. That is the challenge I have with this issue. Because some time ago, some pastors cried out that they were laid off and, you know, all that talk go, all that talk went around the social media. And at the end of the day, the bishop, Bishop David Oyedeko, you know, said something to clear the air. Like me, I said, he is the one that employed the people. They decide to lay them off. He has the right to do so. But my challenge, as, as I'm still saying, is the way and manner this termination of the appointment of these people are being handled. I don't like it, and I don't think it is Christianly. Yeah, I don't think so. In as much as there is no, you know, crime committed, I don't think that people should be laid off this way. How do I mean? You lay people off, and you order them to vacate their apartment, you know, hand over every garden thing that the church has given to them with immediate effect, without, you know, proper notice. I will explain why I say so. Or some people will say, who told you that they didn't give them notice? Okay. If they have given them that proper notice, why then are they, you know, paying them two months' salary in lieu of notice? That's where I got that notion that they were not given proper notice or enough time to prepare themselves to leave. That is number one. Number two is this policy of your workers, junior workers, junior uh, pastors, junior ministers are not allowed or are not having access to the general superintendents, general overseers or our uh, you know, bishops, presiding bishops. And they are made to work under other leaders that now you know, turn themselves as taskmasters to oppress these junior workers, junior pastors. It's alarming. This policy, I want to say my own here and now, is demonic. I am the one that says so. And that is why we have all manner of leaders today leading the people of God and turning themselves to think God because now the general overseer meant well, and they bring you to be the leader of other ones that are coming up. All of a sudden, you turn upside down and begin to manifest 
wicked, you know, wicked acts against these people. Operation left, right, and center. Tasking upon tasking upon tasking without caring about their welfare. This is very wrong. Now look at this lady. The two months in lieu of notice salary they asked them to pay. Their leader, state pastor, she mentioned it here. I'm going to drop the video so that you will see. Now carry the money and went and do investment. I don't know the kind of investment he made. But this lady said that when they get to you know, the state pastor and do all their clearance and all that, they call it exit clearance. And at the end of the day, they ask them to go. Only for them to wait and wait. The salaries were not paid. And when she get back to the accountant, the accountant told her that the salary are withhold. Why? Because their boss has ordered them not to pay because he has used the money to do in his own personal investment. See the reason why people are saying that the church of God, especially in Nigeria, has turned to business. How dare you sit upon the, 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 the entitlement of others to create wealth for yourself? Is that how it should be? Do you think that, that God is happy with anybody that behaves like that? Considering the economy of Nigeria right now, where people are scrambling to put food on the table for their family, and now they were asked to quit their job with immediate effect. Now the money that they're supposed to hold, but eventually they can use it to put one-on-one -on -one together to see if they can pick their life again. You are sitting on it. You don't want to pay them. Because you want to use it to create wealth for yourself and your family. Is it proper? Please share this video so that the bishop, Bishop David Oyedeko, will see this. Because, trust me, this is our big, big papas, our big, big uh, general overseers and superintendents, they are not seeing, they are not hearing what these junior pastors are going through. They are not seeing it. They are not hearing because they are not giving access, direct access to, to them. And that is the policy that I don't consider proper at all. That the people working under you cannot have access to you because you are placed upon them a taskmaster that is busy oppressing them and milking them. Some of them, their health are failing them. Some of them are bruised. Some of them are bitter. Some of them are angry, sick because of the oppression of their immediate leaders. And nobody is coming to their rescue because they will not have access to their general overseer, to their general superintendent of their bishops. Is that supposed to be so? So please, people of God, Share this video, but eventually we get to the right source so that they can come to the rescue of these brethren. And God Almighty will bless you. Listen to her and give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm can pick it and spread it so that it can get to the people that matters. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye. I'm a pastor in Living Faith Church Worldwide. And we've been working since 2019. The benchmark for every evangelist that was given to us was 50 adults, which, by the grace of God, I beat such, that benchmark. My attendance in Living Faith Church, Agon Kame, where I worship, the branch where I pastor. We are more than 100, sometimes 90-something, sometimes 120. But something came up. One morning I woke up and I saw a letter of release, this one. 
and I called my fellow female colleague. They said it's true, they've seen the house. You are to ensure the handover of all properties of the ministry in your possession, including your official accommodation to the state pastor, Lagos, before departure, which means even the house that you are staying, you are to hand it over. At the completion of your exit, the account department shall pay you two months gross salary in lieu of notice. That is at the completion. Now, this is where I'm going, sir. Sars and Ma, who is watching me. You are releasing someone you released immediately. That is not enough. You said we should go with immediate effects. There was no crime committed. There was nothing that they said. They only said to be to for strategic reorganization and restructuring. Say you should they should leave. Okay, you said they should pay us two months salary. That's immediately we complete our exit clearance. Now this is where I'm heading to. We now went to the states according to the letter to write exit of clearance. We have finished the exit clearance or whatever. In, in place, we owe nobody. We owe the commission nothing, not even offering. We don't owe. As I'm talking to you now, some of my colleagues are on the street. They've not paid us the two month salary. September is gone. They've not paid us the two month salary. Which I'm saying now that if they are going to pay us, they are not to pay us again September and October. They are to pay us September, October, and November because. Many of us worked for September, yet we have not seen salary. Now, there is this man called Ogbon Yomi Adeleye, is the state pastor in Lagos State. He is fond of one habit. Whenever we are, they are to pay salary, he will use the money to borrow bank. He has been doing it ever since, not today. Pastors will begin to beg for food. Pastors in living faith church will begin to stay on guard. The next thing when you call state, they will tell you, do you want to be sat on top of your own salary? They will not tell you, do you want to be sat? Or they will not tell you, are you living by salary? Or you are living by uh, the favor of God? If I'm living by salary, no problem, that's my faith. Only for me to find that and see that he uses the salary they sent to him to pay people to borrow bank. So that when bank is paying him, they will pay him with interest. Using people's livelihood to play, to gather his own wealth. That is how it has been going from time to time. I'm coming now because it's so touching that after sacking people without no evidence pay them you have refused to pay them many don't even have where to stay many are even sleeping on the street jumping from one place to another pay them now is a problem 